Okay, we're ready to start our walk this morning. We're on a highway where there's a little more traffic. And uh, hopefully you can hear me. Oh, bro, those trucks passed. Okay, we're going to try to walk a little bit further today. Now, we got a lot of rain clouds, but even if it rains, we're still going to walk. And I was here so I could give you a little better picture of that house that's pre-Civil War. Here we go. See, it's built up high. Um, I think you can see that they got the lattice work under those uh, pilings. I'm not sure what they call those. Anyway, there's a better look at the out buildings. Isn't that something? The trees have grown up. You used to be able to see it really well from the street. Anyway, this morning we've got Mr. Wheeler with us. You want one for a walk, Wheeler? All right, so we're ready to get going. Gonna walk a little bit further. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, here's a better picture. Look at that magnolia tree there, and look at these really large oak trees. Of course, this is crepe myrtle in front. Now, we've had all this rain this past summer, and look at these azaleas. Can you believe this? Blooming this time of year. I mean, we're in the fall, really. And these azaleas are blooming. This is the second time they've bloomed pretty amazing it's starting to rain just a little bit all right there's a better view of the house see this massive tree here and there's another one right there there's a massive magnolia tree there too that sort of looks like a live oak but it's really not a live oak Sort of, not, we've got one of these in our yard. I'm not sure what they're sort of a cross between a pin oak and a live oak. See how big that is? I just don't know where we can find a better view of the house without me just going up to the house. A runner just passed us and scared my dog. All right, we'll be back. Thought I would show y'all this old tree. This is a pin oak, and it was devastated when Hugo happened about 25 years ago. Blew a lot of the limbs down, but it's still living. All right, we're gonna keep walking. All right, I thought this was really pretty. I don't know what kind of flowers these are. I'm sure they're perennials. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that purple. Let me get a close up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The bumblebee, he doesn't like me being here. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's giving him some pollen. Oh, busy, busy bumblebee. Look at the pollen sacks on the back of his leg. Oh, okay, we're leaving. Okay, this is a long leaf pine. See how long the needles are? The pine cones are larger. Here's one that's falling on the ground. See how big the trunk is? That might even be a loblolly pine. The way you can tell those is that bark looks like it's sort of been scraped off a little bit. That's really how you can tell the loblolly. Now, they're really, really old pine trees. And I think the loblolly, uh, their seeds only work after the seeds have been burned. I think that's the loblolly. Anyway. There's an older home for sale. That looks like a Dutch colonial. Now that's not as old as a lot of them on the street. All right, we're coming up on an old one here in a residential section. So the speed limit is 30 miles an hour. See the massive columns on this, the rocking chairs sitting on the porch. Oh, we got water on my camera. Look at the front door here. And the uh, shrubs, those are Yopon Holly. All right. That's definitely an older home, probably right around the turn of the century. It's been uh, siding put on it and new columns, so somebody's really fixed it up. All right, we'll be back. There's another older home that's been uh, fixed up, I guess siding put on it. 
probably renovated on the inside. And that looks like a chocolate lab to me, and he don't like us being in his neighborhood. But he's not coming across the street, which is good. All right, we'll be back. Another older home. Look at those massive brick columns there. Pretty, pretty curtains in the window there. This looks like a Frank Lloyd Wright type architecture to me. All right, we're going to keep going. Okay, more homes looks like from probably the early 1900s right there. The two bikes sitting in the yard. There's another one down here. Both of these look like the turn of the century to me. Over here, this looks like uh, a home maybe built in the 60s. Sometimes, you know, houses burn down, and if it's a really good neighborhood, then somebody else will come and build another house a little more modern. That one right there looks like the 1940s to me. See that arched doorway? And somebody's getting ready to move. All right, we're going to keep walking, and we'll be back. Here we are, another uh, turn-of-the-century house. And I'm sure they've got a massive attic. The way you can tell the age is by that chimney there. Now that, that's the same kind of chimney uh, that was, uh, well, we actually had two chimneys, but uh, our chimney was made just like that. So our house was built between 1908 and 1910. So this house will be along the same age as ours. Nice rocking chairs on the porch and a swing. All right, we're gonna keep walking. Okay, I had to show you this. Look at this old tree. This is a cedar tree, an eastern red cedar. Devastated during Hurricane Hugo, but look how big it is. It's still surviving. Isn't that great? Now, my kitchen table I made out of eastern red cedar. And our little tables in the, uh, in the den are out of that. Look at that gnarled tree. Isn't that something? That thing's probably well over 100 years old. All right, you're going to keep walking. Okay, look at this fence. You see a lot of fences like this in St. Matthews. Look at that. Very rusted, some of it broken. Now, this house has the same exact columns that our house has. This is just a much smaller version with brick halfway up. Now, these people have painted the brick, and ours is on a much larger scale than that, but it's very similar. All right, keep walking. Okay, uh, this is the home of uh, our former doctor, and then before him, um, a real estate lady lived there, her and her husband. We knew them. Now, that would have been, mm, I don't know, 25 years ago. But anyway, this is the house that had massive uh, live oaks in the front yard. In fact, they, you couldn't have any grass at all because the trees, you know, shaded it and sucked up all the moisture. But somewhere along the line, the people got the live oaks cut down, and then they planted these other trees. So, anyway, I'm not sure how old this house is, and I don't think it's as old as our house. All right, we're gonna keep walking. All right, this is uh, palmetto trees, and this is our state tree. People do get them, uh, you know, to plant in their yard. So this is three of them in a bunch here. And see how the, uh, I guess you call those prongs, prong, prongs, growing sort of a plaited look. Look at that. There's the berries from them. And what people end up doing is breaking those lower leaves off and then the newer leaves come back on in the spring up at the top. And some of them just stay the whole time. Now, if you're at the beach in South Carolina, like where we go on Edisto Island, we've got trees like this. They grow wild out there on Edisto Island. And when the wind blows, they make a lot of noise. All right, be back. Okay, here's another older home. They've done quite a bit of work on this home, but I would say it's turn of the century also. And, uh, Look at this. I don't know what that is about. I don't know where they put the flocks of, of uh, 
flamingos in people's yard. Pretty good, right? All right, keep moving. Well, let's look at this old tree while we're here. What would you say? This tree, my guess, is 200 years old. And this is also an oak, and I'm not sure what kind. It's got that leaf that sort of looks like a pear. You know, the shape of a pear. I don't know, but anyway, Hugo had his way with this tree also. See all the limbs that broke off? But anyway, that was many years ago, and the tree has certainly recovered. Look at all those age knots is what I think they are. All right, moving on. Okay, here we go. Look at the massive live oaks. Are you barking? What are you barking at? Oh, he's barking at a man walking on the street down there. Anyway, look at the columns on this. Now, this looks like an older home also, based on, you see that up in, in the, uh, on the roof there? That little, uh, it really is a vent for the attic. That's what makes me think this is old. And also, uh, right up under the porch, that second, uh, little story there looks like that used to be a balcony and somebody's closed it in but anyway look at the live oaks aren't they massive just massive and of course this one was devastated right here this is a pin oak devastated by hurricane hugo and as you can imagine all up and down this street the tree tree limbs were laying all over everything and they had no power all right we're moving on okay we're coming up on this uh uh, I think it's a, a Victorian house, probably built in the 1800s, and it is for sale. This was an old family home. Uh, they uh, kept this home in the family's name for many, many years. So we're going to get closer and have a look at this. Another older home. Now, I don't like the color of this, but I sure like the design. I like that. I think it's cute. It needs a little work, though. All right. Here's another home. I don't know how old this home is, but it's got the original uh, metal roof on it. Okay. There's that Queen Anne Victorian. Got that nice fence around it. Beautiful home. But can you imagine trying to heat and cool that square footage? Now we're going to walk down this way tomorrow. But you see we got a hill there, a pretty big hill too, and it's really bad coming up it, I can tell you, because I've done it lots of times. All right, we're going to walk on down. All right, we're going to walk around and look at the front of this house. She's going to come out and talk with me. We'll be back in a minute. All right, uh, the house was built in 1900, and it, was it built by your father? Grandfather. Your grandfather, oh. Yeah, they built that house. Okay, they built that house over there too. Yeah, we just saw that house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. And then they moved into this house. What about the all these pecan pecan trees? Was that like a pecan farm or something? Just put up for shade. Just put up for shade. Knew about all these leaves and yeah. Pollen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on around and just videotape the front. I put it on YouTube and my website. Thank you. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, all right. Come on, we're gonna go around to the front. This is Francis. All right, they'll cut it off and we'll be back right just a second. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here it is, built in 1900. All right, we're going to walk around and look at the front and let us tell her about, tell us about the honeybees, because I remember those from before. So we're going to go around a little, see the nice little shrubs. And what are these trees, what are these bushes on each side? Of, those aren't tea olives, are they? Uh-uh, they're not tea olives, but there is a tea olive around on the other side. What are these right here, some kind of olive? Right here, uh -huh. banana 
bananas. Oh, those are the ones that smell really good. All right, tell me about those bees that used to be up there, because I remember that from years ago. <laughs> well, they used to go down in the um, columns. Oh, they went in the columns. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was on this side over here? Or? Well, they, I think they visited all of them, to tell you the truth. So, they, so you probably still got honey down those columns. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it did ooze out of one. Really? One. We had, some, we had some honey ooze out of our fireplace coming down the back. Okay, here it is, 1900, and this is the granddaughter of the person who built this house. Look at those massive columns. So these columns are hollow or not? They must be. I don't think it, they would have the honey in them if they were solid. Yeah. All right, this is great. Okay. okay, so these uh, these shutters open and shut also, yes. I know that. All right, this is and great. That, um, most of them are the original shutters. Isn't that great? Amazing. That is great. All right, Miss Francis, thank you so much. You are so kidding. Okay, I was visiting with Miss Francis, and uh, of course that gave me a rest. And of course it gave uh, Wheeler a rest too, but here's an older home that someone bought and they're fixing up. I think the lady's doing most of the fixing up herself, but I'm sure she's doing a good job. The outside definitely looks better than it used to. All right, going on towards the house. All right, y'all might be kind of sick of looking at older homes by now. Here's another one. There's a one story, and see this one right here just recently sold, and the gentleman here is fixing the top of the porch. And they put the uh, fence around it and that kind of thing. Anyway, it looks good. All right. We're about done with this walk. See you next time. Okay, Wheeler. Look at him. He's panting, and I'm breathing heavy, too. All right. This last leg of the walk, we went a little uphill. Went as fast as we could, and... Uh, I actually broke a sweat, and also breathing heavier, heart rate's up. Okay, I walked, let's see, a mile and a half, almost two miles, and uh, I picked up the pace. wasn't a run, but it was a really fast walk, the last probably half mile. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time.